Alright, round one will be on the play. Um, I did make one change to my deck um, before submitting. After I stopped the video, I took out the Horn Collars chant and put in a Druid's Deliverance because I wanted the extra populate. Uh, this hand is fine. Uh, I don't like mulliganing at all, but obviously a no lander is not going to cut it. But this is very acceptable. As long as we get one more land, we are totally okay. Hopefully next turn we draw a Slesny Gullgate. And he is... okay, there we go. F6. <clears throat> See what we're up against. There was a Rakdos Cackler earlier. Um, doesn't have one here, luckily. Land? Right, not quite what I wanted, but that's fine, I guess. Gives us something to do if he plays a annoying turn 2 creature, like Frostburn Weird. Um, he has a stop set on my draw phase, for whatever reason. Obviously we won't be attacking, but I will pass the turn. <coughs> Let's see what we have here. Frostburn Weird? I wouldn't mind playing against that. Soul Tithe actually, uh, works pretty well on Frostburn Weird because even if they choose not to sacrifice it, it ties up their mana and Frostburn Weird ties up their mana as it is anyway. Alright, that actually does nothing if I draw land because I can just activate it on his turn. <coughs> yeah, he was just using that as a cantrip. Land. Cool. I could play a sentry, but I'm going to be attacking for 3 next turn anyway. And I don't want this to get annihilating fired while I'm tapped out or anything. <coughs> Hmm. Three color, huh? Uh, he is certainly going to unleash that. <coughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna soul type that. Potentially. He could play something scarier later on, but I have other ways around it, and that thing is just like a big problem. Let's go ahead and get a centaur. He can't block, obviously. Splatter Thug is pretty good against Selesnya on the uh, on the aggro because 3-3 um, three, three first strike outclasses just straight 3-3s. Three <coughs> Alright, what do we want to do here? I guess I'll just play a Selesnya Sentry and pass after I attack. Seems fine. Next turn I can either Soul Tithe or Knightly Valor if I draw land. Seems profitable. Sentry. Rhymes are fun. Obviously not blocking. Even if that didn't have first strike, I wouldn't block and trade. Um, you could see that I'm uh, bluffing giant growth, but promenade. Okay, it could be four color. Um, yep. Okay. Hopefully that means he has nothing else to play at the moment. Alright, well, he's taking a minute, so... Could be thinking about, uh, giant growth. Alright, now he decided to attack. No reason not to, really, because even if he thinks I have it, he'd rather I use it now than on the offense, I think. I'm off to a pretty aggressive start. And, uh, let's see, he could syncopate this, but I think I still go for it anyway. Because it turns off his, uh, splatter thug. I'm going to put it on the sentry, because if he if he wants to kill it, I'd rather he killed that than the centaur, because I can populate it later. I guess I could populate the 2 too, but both of these are fine. Plus I can regenerate this guy, so with less chance for a 2 for 1. Now he's on the defense. Um, yeah, not gonna block if he attacks because he could have like Dyna Charge or something that would kill this, and then I wouldn't have Lethal on board. 
My guess would be he's going to attack no matter what. But uh, I have Justice here back up if he plays another creature, and then he's just dead. Okay, I guess that works. <coughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to come back from this. Yeah, if he doesn't play anything, he goes down to four. And then I play Justice here and kill him next turn, unless he plays, like, three creatures that can block. <coughs> Hopefully that's all from him. No, it's not. What's he got? Another action injunction? Oh, that's fine. Unleash that. Do it. Damn, he didn't unleash, which is a little problemsome, but nothing I can't deal with. Um, hmm. So how do I want to do this? Do I get in with the centaur? That puts him to six. Um, I'll play my gate for now. So if I attack with knight, he's clearly going to block here. Um, I think I just get in with the centaur and just wait a turn. I'm not going to play sold. I'm not going to play anything just because I'm afraid he's going to have a six drop that I'm not going to like. <coughs> Basically, if I draw a giant growth, he's dead at this point. Uh, I go down to 9, basically, here. Hopefully, he just plays like a big 6 drop dude that he thinks I can't deal with, like Nibbazette, maybe. Because then I think he's dead. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's very good. <coughs> Um, yeah, that puts a pretty big wrench in my plans. I'm still in okay shape, but now I'm going to start to need... I'm going to need to start soul tithing things. I'm still drawing pretty alive. So at this point, I think I'm going to... Just this year, his Splatter Thug and Void Welder, so I can get in, and then hope to draw something useful. <clears throat> and he's probably done. Yep. That's not very helpful. Um, so, now I guess we're just gonna detain. That one and that one. We are getting in for two. <clears throat> now the question is, do I want to soul tithe? Um, no, I think I wait a turn. Um, he's still got a lot of cards in hand, which is a bit of a problem, but um, any number of draws would get us out of this mess, I think. I'm just waiting for him to play something massive so I can soul tithe it. Guild Mage wouldn't be too bad here either. Play it, populate right away, and then just like amass a, a butt ton of tokens. A metric butt ton, you say? Oh yeah, something big. It's not good. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Alright, now I'm in some trouble. Uh, I go to seven. I'm one short of dying next turn. Um, let's see here. Let's draw something useful. Not what I needed. Well, let's soul tithe the Void Welder, I guess. Or the Splatter Thug. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Because this way, if I draw a Courses Accord, I'm still okay. And I just want to get that thing out of the way. Because I still just like want to win this game. <laughs> I 
he could pay for it, which would be bad for me, I guess. Alright, if he plays anything of use here, then I'm pretty much just done. Um, so I'm thinking after sideboarding I might just take the um, Stab Wound back, because he has so many good targets for it, like Splatter Thug and Void Welder. Alright, here I'm going to two, it looks like. And he's probably going to play something, because he got rid of his Void Welder. Wait, what is this? Annihilating Fire? Explosive Impact? Okay. That'll do it. Yeah, he was just able to out-tempo us there. Alright, those cards would have been useful like three turns ago, but... Alright, what can we do here after siding? Um, Sundering Growth doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe Stab Wound, but I don't know what we'd put in for it. Or take out for it, rather. <clears throat> um... You know, I think I just want to keep it as it is. I don't want to mess around with uh, splashing right now, because... Eh. I don't know. No, I think I'm going to bring it in. And I guess I'd have to bring in the Geek Group of Vine, too, so you know what? No, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to just gonna leave it as it is. 